What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Another beautiful day. Man, yesterday almost 80, today almost 80. That's one thing they say about Tennessee, man. If you don't like the weather, just hang around about 30 minutes. It'll definitely change. Great day at the swap meet yesterday. Unfortunately, I decided not to, uh, to film any content. It was at a motorcycle club's clubhouse. It was at their compound. They said I could, but uh, there was just a lot of different patches and it would have been hard for me, uh, you know, not to film them and I'm just not gonna do that. My channel's about motorcycles and that's it. Um, that's my son's little mini bike. Had to order him a new chain, he broke the chain. Took uh, Coleman Industries like a month to send me this damn chain. And I guess I didn't get the clip, the keeper clip in the master link. And uh, he rode it for about 30 minutes, come told me he broke the chain. So I was all mad at him for breaking a new chain, come to find out it was my fault. The, uh, the master cylinder came out. But complete sellout at the swap meet yesterday. I literally 100% sold everything I had. I know you see this roller still sitting here. And I know you see this really, really nice dual disc Super glad front end still sitting here. Uh, but my engine builder bought it. Guy down at S&G Cycles in Columbia, which I'm going to do a video on him uh, coming real soon. I got that idea from old Slickhead. Uh, got a few shops that I'm going to go by and interview those guys. But he bought it. But uh, he bought more than he brought. <laughs> so he didn't have room on his truck and trailer and asked me would I bring it to him. And I told him sure I'd bring it to him. But just absolutely phenomenal day at that swap meet yesterday i did did really well uh not to mention i bought a few things uh there was a jeweler there i was able to pick up a new ring i got a uh el cheapo tour pack it's uh to Amazon special, I'm sure. But man, I gave 20 bucks for it. Uh, I've got the brackets so I can put on my road glide when me and my wife go to Michigan or Wisconsin or Florida. Um, she really wants, she generally don't, I don't let her ride, take, take her bike on those trips because I've generally got one day to do these trips. I've got, you know, I, I take off work on Friday and I've got, you know, one day. Uh, to get to say Wisconsin, you know, almost 800 miles away. So I've got to pound it to get there. Uh, and I'm not just going to have her out there pounding it uh, on her own bike with me. So get her a tour pack. She'll be a little bit more comfortable on it. Um, the uh, the CV750, fixing to start putting it back together. Uh, I haven't done a lot to it since my last video. I've been kind of busy, but need to get it put back together. I need to get another fender. Man, I can remember when, you know, 50, 60 bucks got you a real nice fender. Well, this is what a $50 fender will get you these days. Watch this. Yeah. That's what 50 bucks will get you these days. So I need to order a fender and some, get me some round stock from uh, the steel supply. Uh, put a new fender and a CC bar on that. Boom, I'll get that done. I'm going to try to be really busy this week, but uh, we're about to get back started on this. Uh, oh, here's something else I bought. Picked up another gas tank. 20 bucks. That's like a $120 gas tank, $100 gas tank. Brand new. Uh, high backbone like I like. Uh, in case you can't tell. <laughs> that one's a little bit bigger than the one that's on the, the pan head. It'll hold a little bit more fuel. Uh, but I just got everything. I finally sourced just about everything. I, I'm missing an oil tank and the handlebars that I'm actually going to run. But I got the back wheel that I'm going to use. It came with a sprocket. I'm pretty sure that's a 48 tooth, which that's what I like to run. I like to run a 24 on my tranny and a 48 on the rear wheel. I'm pretty sure that's the combination I got. Uh, if not, I know the one on that bike. So, but I don't think that one will work. No, I don't. It might. I don't know. Uh, of course, I got the motor, nice, clean, rebuilt transmission. I got me, I got my primary. It's uh, dirty, needs to be cleaned up, but I got 
good clutches and friction plates, everything I need. I got the bearing support. I need to check the bearing in that, make sure it's okay. I got the belt. Uh, I got the uh, stator cover, uh, and it doesn't have the starter ring gear on it. Um, got the kickstand, voltage regulator, headlight, gas tank. Uh, I've got the coil just setting up there. Um, so this was not far from, uh, you know, starting to get put together. I've got the brackets and the bungs and everything uh, to put it together. You know, I got the fender mounts, whichever ones I need to use. I think I've got the pet cop for the tank. I've got different size bungs. Um, carburetor. Intake. Back in plate. Uh, damn, we got another kickstand. I got rid of a lot of this stuff. And I said, man, I was looking for those rockers. Those are the rockers that go to that this... This long springer that I've got. And uh, I found a really cool machine shop that can probably machine that can probably rake this for me. I'm probably gonna go two up and two out on about a I don't know 38 degree rake. I believe that'll give me the raking trail that I'm looking for. But I will trust my machinist uh, professionalism on that. Uh, but that's where we're at, and I'm hoping. By the time I drop my video uh, Wednesday, maybe Thursday, because I want to get the I want to get the 750 put back together, because I don't like just leaving it like that. Been super busy this week, and I want to start building this bike. Uh, I think I'm going to put the super the super B back on this one and take that super E back off, because uh, I hadn't really been able to get this one to run right uh, ever since I took the super B off of it, which that's a very low compression engine. Uh, I feel like I'm eventually going to have to pull that out and uh, get 30 over pistons and probably uh, bore those cylinders 30 over. Uh, but like I said, I've got a machine shop now that I trust. Uh, so that's a project I'll be willing to do maybe this winter. Um, that one's just been the, it's been, it was a fun bike to build, but oh my God, it's been the bane of my existence. Of course, you all probably know that. Um, Huge shout out to my boy Slick. I ain't hollered at him in a while. He was busy this weekend. Um, I do want to talk about um, uh, what it takes as a content creator. Um, you know, and all those of you that watch my channel that are that are content creators, like you know what it takes. You know, it's you got to hit a thousand uh, subscribers and four thousand watch hours. And I didn't start this channel for any. Uh, YouTube partnership program. That that was not my intent. I never really thought I would hit a thousand subscribers, and I blew past that. I'm close to twelve hundred now, but I'm really suffering on watch hours. Uh, and it's okay, man. I'll put out a fifteen minute video, an eight minute video, and you know it'll have a high duration. You put out a thirty minute video, not a lot of people to watch it to the end, and that's fine. I know my diehards are. I, I'll watch a video to the end because that's pretty much all I watch. I don't really watch TV. I watch um, I watch YouTube. You know, if uh, if Slick puts out a, a thirty minute video, I will watch that thing all the way to the end. Easy Co. All the way to the end. You know, all, all the channels that I watch. You know, Saddle Tramp. I watch him all the way to the end. Uh, Shovelhead Fedge, all the way to the end. You know, Ironhead Sally, all the way to the end. Love you to death, Ironhead Sally. Unless maybe it's a trucking video, because I'm not too much into that. But I will at least let the video play um, and go do some welding or something else if it's a trucking video. No offense, Sally. I hope you don't take that as an any offense. Uh, but it helps her watch hours because I know how important those are. Um, but one thing I failed to mention in my video that I dropped last Wednesday or Thursday because I had to put that video out because Slick dropped that video about me dropping my bikes and everything. So I had to tell everybody, no, that was some real shit. There was nothing staged about Slick's intro on that. That was real. Um, and I forgot, I promised everybody when I hit a thousand, um, when I hit a thousand um, subscribers, I was going to, uh, I was going to do a giveaway. Uh, nothing major. 
But I've got a $50 Visa gift card that I'm going to give away. And uh, there's nothing you got to do to enter. If you watch my shit, uh, whether you've subscribed or not, if you happen to be watching on the night that I give it away, which may be in my next video, um, all you have to do is email me an address. But I need to talk to Slick to help me figure out how to pick it, how to pick the winner. Maybe do a riddle. First one to answer it in the comments wins. Uh, but I wasn't lying about that. I am going to do that. I put some, so <laughs> my painter, Fuse Bike Art, Find him on Facebook, F-U-S-E, Bike Art, Fuse Bike Art. Y'all about to see a killer sign that he's creating for me, a logo, a sign. I gave him a two by three foot uh, piece of 16 gauge steel. Uh, he's going to trick it out, man. Um, he's already got an idea for the CV750 paint job. Uh, I told him all I had to paint on it would be the tank because I'm going to run a chrome fender on it. Uh, and he's gonna he's gonna go ahead and well, I've got three tanks that need to be painted and two fenders, you know. So he's going ahead and get a bunch of painting done for me this winter so I can highlight some of his work. Uh, boy, I really lost my train of thought on where I was going. But anyway, I'm gonna holler at Slick and figure out you know what's the best way to uh, to pick that winner. I just went and picked up. I had to go get some new uh, for those of y'all that see my. Helmet taken apart. I need to go get some batteries because I'm seriously, I'm getting back to work on that. Um, oh, one other thing I wanted to talk about. And man, I'm not going to dog another content creator or none of that. There's a guy out there, and he's big. I think he's got, you know, six figures. Professional riders. Be a professional rider.com. Anyway, I think he used to be a professional police officer, motorcycle, whatever you call him. Uh, bike cop and he probably taught them cops how to ride bikes cops are some of the best bike riders there are those guys can take a bagger and do some shit that I can't do with it but he he made the comment about don't ruin your bike by putting ape hangers on it and I'm like you've got to be kidding me so this bike here chopper gonna have some 16s on it my wife's bike, those are just 14s. <coughs> but <coughs> maybe 12s <coughs> for her. Mine, those are 18s. They're pulled back a little far because they slipped in the triple tree. <coughs> but if you ride a stock bike, your hands are down here. The pullback is like 12 inches on them. So your hands are like this. And there's basically a big curve in your back. You know, when I, I bought this bike down in Florida, I had a 2017 black road glide with a uh, 16s on it that I rode to Florida, um, two or three years, three years ago. Wait, when did I go? Well, that's a 20. So however long ago it was when I bought this new, uh, bought it stock handlebars. And, uh, when we left that Sunday to come home, it's like where we were, we're like 875 miles out. And the particular organization that we're part of, if you ride 1,000 miles inside of 24 hours, it's called 1,024, you earn a patch for that. So we all decided to do that on the way home. I knew within the first 50 miles, I was miserable. And I was miserable all the way home. I'll never buy another bike out of state like that again. Following weekend, I had them 18s on that bike. You have way more leverage over your bike. Those baggers are heavy. That thing's like 875, 900 pounds. You know, you raise your arms up, you got two or three different ways to ride at that point compared to stock bars. Now to each his own, but I would never tell you, uh, riding a bike with stock bars is ruining your bike, you know. But that's that guy's channel. All due respect to that guy. But if you're thinking about putting apes on your bike, hell, put them on there and try them. I recommend it. If you don't like them, put your stock bars back on it. But anyway, I never really vented on YouTube. Didn't mean to go down that rabbit trail, but uh, yeah, there you go. Anyway, tune in Wednesday or Thursday. Probably going to have that giveaway. Hope to have that done. Hope to have a lot of this done so y'all see what this bike's going to look like. But thanks for tuning in. Hope everybody can hang in for 15 minutes. I need the watch hours, everybody. <laughs> thanks to all my subscribers, old and new. You guys know who you are. 
Uh, you're always in my comment sections. I really appreciate it. Mad shout out to my boy Slick, Slickhead Custom Cycles, all the other creators out there doing their thing. If y'all like what we're doing and you go to our channels, take a minute to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment, share the video. It really helps our channels out, man. We Everybody that's doing this wants to grow their channels. But anyway, tune in for more of this sketchy chopper shit. Hippest chopper corner. Home of the sketchy chopper. We keep them sketchy all the time.